Paladin. You ready to move out? Why establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the Capital Wasteland, but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them, and they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. Despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home, or end up missing. Dance? Keep checking your six for hostiles. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? 
Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. It sounds like you're scared of synths. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, let's move out. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> Um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us. Especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss this tape, and we'll start a new one.
Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Multiple synth targets. Take them down. No time for questions now. We have to keep moving. Synths have compromised most of the facility. Remain vigilant. We've got turrets ahead. Nice. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core, but it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Hell yeah. Jeering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine, I'm sure he took shop class. Oh look, he's reading the science mags, how cute. Ha ha ha. Shop. Let's see them make this in shot class. My marvel of engineering. The finest in weapon heist refuse acceleration. My beauty. My junk jet. They'll see the engineers with their suits and fancy degrees. Come Monday morning, they'll all see. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. It would appear my target has two. Engine firing. Test firing complete.
completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god! Are you all right? Got... cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Going down. Sensor reading detected. Hostile sensor reading detected. Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. 